previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. A superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Whoa! Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. smiling. Take your power seriously. I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. Drink up. It's got electrolytes.
Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So. Are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. This is both sad and pathetic. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. 
Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should've beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. I'm good to flow, thanks. Hello, water. Sorry, I forgot. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. My desk is a pigsty, but... I know it ain't there. And nothing here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. 
Better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to our list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Now, Mrs. Hoyda is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Ouch. She left out amnation. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful, and why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Um, uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would, but it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well. He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. 
what about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. So why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now.
The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her, I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Taylor. Conversation over. Max, get over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend. Chloe Price, we haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel.
Some light and you'll be 